Hey guys, it's me, John Avenger, again. Um, hope you like my new Jaws shirt. I got it uh, yesterday. It says Jaws on it. Yeah, but we're not here to talk about Jaws because that's not a disappointing film, or even Jaws 2. My next is disappointing films that were hits. Uh, this is number five. This is a sequel that came out in the year 2000 that I didn't even see in the theater when it came out. Um, I didn't see it until it was on DVD years later. And uh, I really didn't care for it. I thought it was too long and just kind of boring. And that was Mission Impossible 2. Yeah, John Woo, I like him as a director. He's done some good stuff. I haven't seen Face Off, but I did see Hard Target. I thought that was a good movie. And he's done some other good things too. But this was not his best film. Uh, I thought this was a very disappointing sequel compared to the first one. I thought the first one was really good, uh, straightforward, and, and you know, it, it was it was uh, to the point. Even though it was almost two hours, it didn't feel long. The second one, it just drags on. After the first action scene on the plane, like the first five or ten minutes, and you see the villain and everything, and the opening credits, there's literally over an hour of talking, and it's just boring, boring stuff. Tom Cruise was never the problem with this film. I know John Woo really wanted him to be like the next, uh, like, you know, Asian-like character, but it, it, it doesn't work. Ethan Hunt is not Asian, and he's not, uh, you know, it's not in the same style. And, and just, Tandy Newton was the worst actress in this franchise. I thought she was, you know, a very unlikable biatch. You know, she switches sides all the time, and... Her accent annoyed me. Uh, Douglas Scott played a lackluster villain to me. I don't mind the villain in the first film. I think Jean Reno is in the first one. And then in the second one you have, uh, I mean in the third one you have Philip Seymour Hoffman. Some people said he was bad. May he rest in peace. He was good in the third one. And then four, yeah, the villain wasn't that great either. But I'll take any of those villains over this one. He was boring, never threatening, just useless. Um, the film, it, it just, it, the, the pacing is very bad. I thought that the movie could have, you know, they, they should have done an action scene after the first one. They should have waited at least 10 or 15 minutes, not an hour. It just takes way too long to get going. The action in the second half is good for what it is, but I don't even remember it, to be honest. I remember the action scenes in the first film and the third film and the fourth film. But this one, it just did nothing for me. Uh, it's a very disappoint. It's disappointing because you know you get this four years after the first one, and it's not as good. You can definitely tell. Um, I'm glad they waited a couple more years to put a third film out. And even though the third film didn't perform as well, I still enjoy it. It's still a fun movie. J.J. Uh, Abrams did a better job than John Woo in this case. Um, I wasn't as disappointed. And it had a bigger cast and, you know, much better villain. It was just a better sequel. I would recommend the third or fourth uh, sequels and over this one. Because this one just bored me to tears. So that's my thoughts on Mission Impossible 2. I'll come back later with you guys. Uh, uh, another lackluster, uh, disappointing movie that I saw that was a hit. Uh, so I will see you guys next time. Peace.